The greatest sin of the world today is, well, is, is the loss of the sense of sin. And wars are the fruit of sin. But God is merciful and wants to help and wants to comfort us. And that is why he sent his mother to Fatima. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria, and welcome to today's Gospel Commentary. Today, brothers and sisters, we celebrate the beautiful feast of Our Lady of Fatima. This is the day when the Mother of God appeared at Fatima in Portugal for the first time to three young shepherd children, to Jacinta, to Francesco, and to Lucia. This apparition occurred, well, over a hundred years ago in the year 1917. This was a time, this was a year when Europe was suffering the terrible, terrible effects of the First World War. This was also the time of great persecution against the Church and also the beginning of communism in Russia. Our Lady appeared to these three young shepherds to ask them to ask them to spread her message, calling all of mankind to return to the Lord and to stop offending God by their sins. Our Lady appeared several times to the children, showing them, showing them the vision of hell and warning what would happen should mankind continue to live in sin. So, brothers and sisters, what about us today? Well, Our Lady is calling us to follow her divine Son, Jesus, and to repent from our sins, because, because sin is what destroys the world. Her appearance in Fatima is a sign that God wants to help, that God cares for us. He cares for us and wants to, and wants to comfort us. Yes, with the presence of his mother. That is why we celebrate the beautiful feast of Our Lady of Fatima, in order, in order to remind ourselves that God really cares and wants us to be at peace. So, how are we living today our lives? Are we acting and living like a true Christian? Are we, are we living the message of Fatima? Or, are we following the ways of the world? Well, in today's Gospel, presented to us by St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 46 to 50, we here are being challenged by the Lord and invited to reject the world and all its lies and to follow His Mother and obtain our Lord's grace. Let's read today's Gospel. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. To do the will of the Father, brothers and sisters, is the secret to peace and salvation. And the Virgin Mary is the perfect disciple who always attuned herself to doing the will of the Father. Our Lady was always obedient and submitted to God's will so as to, be, so as to be a model for us today. So we must learn and we must always follow the Divine Son, Jesus. And in tomorrow's Gospel, brothers and sisters, we are going to learn what was the secret that helped the Virgin Mary always be obedient and submitted to God's will. Let us pray, therefore, today, asking Our Lady of Fatima to draw us closer to God so that we may no longer offend Him with our sins, but 
learn to always do His will and in that way obtain peace and salvation. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria and see you for tomorrow's Gospel Commentary. Salve Maria.